The numbers we were sharing are from the reporting period Tuesday, April 12th to Monday, April 18th. In those seven days, our PCR test positivity ranged from 20.8% to 30.2%. As the Minister mentioned, there are currently 1,126 people with COVID-19 in hospital, including 43 in the ICU. Sadly, between April 12th and April 18th, an average of seven deaths per day related to COVID-19 were reported to Alberta Health. These losses and others that have happened due to any cause leave holes in our families, friend circles and communities. And my sympathies are with anyone who has lost a loved one. As transmission continues with BA2, we have seen more breakthrough infections in those with a full vaccine series. Given that, I know there are questions about the importance of vaccines right now and I want to remind Albertans of what the data shows us. When we look at the difference in the risk of severe outcomes by vaccination status, it is very clear that vaccines are critically important in lowering the risk for hospitalizations and deaths. If we look at everyone in Alberta age five and up, in the last four months, those who were not vaccinated were more than three times more likely to be hospitalized with COVID-19 and almost eight times more likely to be admitted to ICU than those who had three doses of vaccine. For those age 80 and older, in whom the risk of severe outcomes is highest, those who were not vaccinated were more than four times more likely to be hospitalized with COVID in the last four months, and almost six times more likely to die from COVID than those who had three doses of vaccine. It has always been true that most people who get COVID do not need hospital care. And especially with high two dose coverage, at this point, the initial infection will be mild for most people. Some individuals may not even notice their symptoms until a couple of days have passed owing to spring and allergy season. Many may be tempted to shrug off these mild symptoms and continue to go about their daily business, to work, to run errands, to take part in regular activities. However, it's important to remember that doing this can have serious consequences for others around you. Um, we have certain areas uh, of the province and in certain hospitals, so like the U of A, um, we have higher than normal, uh, 100 percent, over 100 percent capacity in terms of uh, in, ter in terms of the emergency rooms. Uh, so we're, we're conscious of that. Uh, we know that as overall as a system, uh, we're not at that level. So it depends on the on the uh, on the location. You know, some of that's being driven by. Uh, by COVID uh, and some of that's driven by the, the care deficit um, that we've had, um, you know, so, so we've had individuals who have um, over the course of COVID not seen their family physicians uh, as frequently as they, they may have normally would uh, given concerns with COVID. Uh, therefore, the, the acuity of the illness that, um, that they're, they're facing uh, has gone up and then now they're coming into the emergency departments. So one of the things that we are doing with, with our budget is working to expand capacity uh, within our hospital systems overall uh, in terms of, uh, you know, we've done that with the, with the ICU, $100 million in specific to that. And we've also asked that, you know, if, if we don't need that, those, those dollars for the IC, uh, ICU to be able to use the resources uh, elsewhere and build capacity within the system. So we're recognizing that, that this is an issue. Um, we're, we'll work through that as we, we learn, we learn to live with COVID and, and through uh, what the, the, the current uh, BA2 wave. Uh, and then continue to build capacity so that you know we can quite frankly normalize um, and, and and not saying it's ever going to be normal but we shouldn't have to be over 100 percent on regular times of year and 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 the only other context i would provide is that you know we're dealing with covid right now but but also we you know uh, flu seasons uh, we've had to deal with this in in the past not not as uh, severe uh, and not the high not as high as levels uh, but we need to actually invest into our healthcare system which we are doing so that you know we don't have people doing a high dive to provide Provide services all the time, uh, but this takes time. Uh, so we have budgeted for this year and the, and the next uh, the next few years to be able to do that uh, as we recruit and uh, train more staff.